This is where we get some copyright strikes. All right, guys, are we ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> um, so the first thing is uh, that Disney and Lamp shed load of TV shows. They're so focused on Disney Plus and becoming bigger than Netflix that they are how can I put it? They're creating, I think what we referred to last week as these kind of premium TV shows that would be films um, and cost hundreds of millions of dollars to make, but they're over the course of about six to 12 episodes, depending on how much money they're willing to fork out. Um, and this one here is the uh, WandaVision trailer. So it's got some interesting bits in it. Um, so first things first, is it, 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 she seems to be, oh, hang on a second, I'm going to put the sound on. Oh. Well, I assure you, I'm married. Okay. To a man, a human one. One. So, right, just the first thing. We've come, watched this trailer before. But Vision's back. Um, but for the people who don't know, uh, Scarlet Witch is what we lovely refer to as a bender, a reality bender. <laughs> she can warp uh, reality to match. In the comics, I think at one point, she erased all the mutants or something along those lines. Um, because she's that powerful, she's like one of the most powerful people in the uh, in the MCU. So, this may be a reality that she's created, but someone might be pulling the strings in the background. Sorry, I'm gonna have to keep stopping it like this because I I know we're gonna get copyright struck just for the bloody part of the music for Sleepy Jean. Um, but again, trapped inside the TV show. There's some people who it could be that could be trapping her inside this TV show. And one of them is not Kang the Conqueror. are an unusual couple. Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. We just don't know what to expect. So, again, sorry. January 15th, so it's only around the corner. Yeah, it's a month and a bit away, uh, which would be quite good. Um, she she looks, I think it's a case of, it's, how can I put it? She's constructed this reality and she's aware that it's a constructed reality. That's why you saw the changeover in color and stuff, where she tried yeah. to make it look a bit more more pretty and stuff. Uh, we're going to get copyright straight full stuff. I might as well just let it carry on. <laughs> Hey, Wanda, what's up? Who are you? Whatever she's done, she's pulling in normies into her little warped reality. So poor people uh, are being being pulled into this. Uh, they may have been like kind of how can I put it like in some other kind of reality or whatever, and and then then pulled into it. I don't know. Something's wrong here. Hmm. Wanda, can you hear me? Who's doing this to you? Are you here to help us? Are you here this to help us? My friend. Hang on, go back. Was that the bird from four? Beg your pardon? Was that the bird from four? That we got really brief in the glasses outside. I don't think it was, no. Go back. Kate Dennings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is, it is Kate Dennings. Okay. Um, That's absolutely what we're having her in there. Um, so I think that it's, I think that it's going to be like a weird mystery box thing. She's created this reality. Is it her reality or is it someone else's reality? Yeah. Or did you create the reality and someone's invading it? I think that I want, no, I'm not going to say I think, I want it to be a case of she's being manipulated by an outside force. And I want it to be the Shadow King from Legion because that character is powerful enough to manipulate her in that way for her to create this reality. I think what's happened is, is she's at home somewhere in like middle of nowhere America. Yeah. And she's in a house. Uh, and one day she decides, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create a reality where Vision didn't die and we live happily, yeah? And she created the bubble and it's literally just her house. But the bubble then kind of expands to incorporate the entire town along with something um, something kind of a bit odd. Unsavory? 
unsavory, I think is the best word of it. So it it, it could be it, the characters that could do this are probably the Shadow King, Legion from Legion, and Wanda herself. Yeah, she could do this. She could have like um like uh, unrecognized grief as uh, an existential threat to her existence, which is caused to, to her to manipulate a parent. She's actually just fighting herself in some poor town. It's coming January 15th. I'm actually looking forward we, to this one because it's a mystery and it'll get unraveled. You've just hit upon something and this could, because we've already said it, that this is going to link into the multiverse. We know that, um, we know that Doctor Strange is going to be in, linking into the uh, multiverse. We suspected that's how they were going to bring the X-Men in. We know they're going to bring the X-Men in. I think you might be right. I think this is going to backdoor the X-Men into the Marvel Universe. And and he, he's going to oh, come no, from... No, hang, hang, hang on a second, hang on a second. Because our next one is how I think they're going to backdoor the x-men into the universe they might be doing because it here you know because i i think they might be that i think they might be setting up the universe yeah but there's a point in the marvel universe where everything crosses over it's called mm -hmm. the axis of time if you remember it i remember it from tv yep. show with the kid um when apocalypse and uh sinister took control of it and that'll feature in our next section but we'll carry on but with one division sorry but Knight. It, it, i can see nice like a if if go on, do you want to mute him, Nudge? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> well, all I was going to say is Keith. Uh, I think there's going to they hitting on what both of you have said. I think what they'll do is they'll introduce a few into one division and a few into the next thing that we're going to watch. I think it's Loki mm. in it. Um, they're going to introduce a few here, a few there, and a few there. And then eventually, it's all going to be one big crossover. A bit like Arrowverse. Potentially. But, I mean, if it's Shadow King, he is a mutant. They're, they're not going to be able to get... I mean, no, we Shadow have King's mutant. not mutant. No, Shadow King's not a mutant. Well, he, he, okay. I don't not know. He, he's, he's, he is, he's, he's from, like, uh, he's, he's, I think, after Apocalypse, he's the next oldest. Um. But, Apocalypse yeah. but if they if they if it is the shadow king or if it's legion himself that there's your mutants and i think yeah. i think we're going to see mutants in this i think you're right i think you're right i think this is going to be and i think you're right that loki's going to do it as well um but uh i wasn't excited about this until i saw this trailer um no, so they, I the way they filmed that. this is quite unique. Didn't want parts of it actually filmed in front of a studio audience pre Rona. I I don't know. I I will find. I don't know. I don't, I'm not that deep into it. Um, it sounded interesting. Um, but it was a mystery box nonsense that you get with kind of yeah. JJ and his ilk. But this actually looks like it's going to pay off. Yeah, it was. It was shot in front of a live studio, live yeah, studio audience. Oh, cool. 